Welcome back to another Wednesday video vlog. Ow! Ow! Stop! Okay. Whew. It's going to be a day in the life of, and we'll start it off with our green smoothie. This is the basic smoothie recipe that I always use. Nutrient packed, and if you notice sometimes that it's not green, it's just because I've added berries to it. But this is our go-to smoothie. The kids love it as well. So the next thing that I'll go into showing you guys is a quick little haul of the clothing that I got from the local consignment sale. I went ahead and shopped early for all the kids' summer clothing and got them at great discounted rates. So I found some really cool stuff for that. And stay tuned for the very end because I'm going to share with you guys my vegan tacos that we made, starting with homemade tortillas. I'll do a quick tutorial on that. And then this game changer ingredient that we added that I will always forevermore have on every taco from now on for the rest of my life. So stay tuned and see you guys at the end. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my eyes. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a Proper nutrition is something that I'm always striving to make more balanced in my life personally, but as well as for my kids and my husband. With children, I find that it is a lot harder to implement good balanced nutrition but one way that I have found very successful in doing this is smoothies. Having a smoothie in the morning is a great way to get your day started packed full of different nutrients as well as antioxidants and very hydrating as well as a great way to just start your digestion slowly. So in today's smoothie I started off with a mango. I also added the frozen bananas. I did add some frozen papaya as well. And I also added some frozen pineapple. Um, if I do have pineapple juice, I would use just pineapple juice and water, and then I wouldn't have to have the frozen pineapple, but I had no pineapple juice. So instead of using just water, I feel like it kind of dilutes the fruit a little bit too much. I went ahead and squeezed in a whole lime. And then I also added in four pitted medjool dates. Now these dates will just add an extra bit of sweetness, but dates are also really, really good um, for your gut as well as for helping um, boost your metabolism. And it also will help if you have any kind of cholesterol or any kind of um, diabetic issues. So I added the dates and I just topped everything off with water. And here is the one thing that I actually started changing here recently with my smoothies. I used to always add spinach because it was a little more mild, but I actually switched to kale. And the main reason that I switched to kale is because of a compound called sulforaphane. This is something I highly recommend you doing research on, but any kind of cruciferous vegetable like kale, um, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, all of these vegetables contain the compounds that our body needs to create sulforaphane. And sulforaphane has insane um, antioxidant um, as well as many neurological benefits. And so I highly recommend doing some research on sulforaphane. Um, but yeah, that is why I switched over to kale. So this is our daily smoothie. It's not usually actually green because I will add blueberries and strawberries and that changes it to a, actually it's a really ugly color after I add all the blueberries and strawberries, but it's so delicious um, and all the kids love it. This is a, was a great transition for the twins after I had stopped nursing. I was giving them these smoothies every morning. Um, I also, one thing I forgot to mention is I always add hemp seed and flax seed as well. Hemp seeds are really high in right, the omega-3 like fats that we need. Um, and so this was kind of helped with that transition for the babies because I do not give them milk. I did try doing almond milk and I was doing cashew milk for a while and that worked really well. But I just felt like this had a lot more nutrients so we switched over to this. They are tired. We stopped at Chick-fil-A on the way home and I don't, the chicken, the griller wrap thing, you can actually get that. It's called just like a veggie wrap, I think. They actually have that separate on the menu, so I had that. 
and a fry. Well, I split this with the twins, but. So I actually feel super heavy right now. I think we're gonna lay the twins down for a nap and then me and the big girls are gonna lay down and watch a movie no, and rest some. This is your toy from Chick-fil-A, right? Yes. This is amazing. Yes. I built it myself. Some people might think that I did not build this because it looks so hard, but it actually is not. It comes with some few stickers that you decorate with. I mean, did you think doing the art was hard? Uh, it was hard. It what? It was hard. It was hard. Bye, Bye. Timmy. As you can see, we kind of just came in, unloaded, threw everything everywhere. There's literally food on the floor, art everywhere, food, like this place is crazy. and have not ever had a dishwasher. So, ow, I need. I'm pretty old school in that I hand wash all my dishes and put them in a drying rack and have to unload it. So in the past year, actually, yeah, since having the twins, I've really kind of wished I had a dishwasher. So one day I will get a dishwasher. I just have to figure out where I want to put it because I have a very small kitchen. So yeah, let me get to unloading that dishwasher so I can get to chilling. I meant unloading my Drying rack. <laughs> All right, so while the kids are sleeping, I wanted to do a quick little haul just to kind of show you guys what I had got from the consignment sale that's local to us. The consignment sale that I went to is called Hugs and Kisses Consignment. If you are local to the Fayetteville area, it's at the Crown and they do it biannually. Um, so like right before spring and right before fall. So let me show you guys what all I got. To start, I'll show you what I got the twins first. And let me tell you, they don't have like a section for twin stuff. So what I had to do, and this took me forever, but they're currently between 12 and 18 months. Um, sometimes I can go into 18 to 24, but it's a little bit bigger. But for the summer, I went a little bit bigger anyway. So what I did was I had to go down all of the 12 month and all the 18 aisles, which if you went, it was a lot of stuff, so you would know. Um, but I went down all the aisles and I literally just put everything in my cart that I liked. Then I had to go through my cart and try to put stuff together because I like them to mat be matchy-matchy sometimes. Um, but I more than likely, my what I really like is when they're just like coordinated. So it's similar outfits, but they're different. So that's how I found outfits for them um, without them having an actual twin aisle. So let me show you what I got them lucked out and they did have twin sets um so i just got these little striped t-shirts i'm obsessed with stripes these little shorts and these little shorts two outfits that i got that i kind of just paired together they just both have kind of like blushy pink colors so i kind of put them together but this one is by the brand um, pearls and picky tails which i've never heard of but they're material is so soft and then this one is from shabby chic these were actually matching um i think people bought these separately because i found these in two separate areas and they were actually priced differently okay and this one has to be my favorite even though i'm not a huge fan of patterns um, I had to get these and they're not very very similar except that they're busy and they're both in the purple tones But um, this one's like little Matilda, little Matilda and Jane and I wasn't sure what this brand was But it's super cute. And it's got the ruffly bottoms, too. So 
that was the next outfit pair that I paired together. All right, so the next one is an Old Navy set. This is actually a dress and it has the little cutout back. Um, and then this one's a shirt that's like kind of like a layered over. And I'll probably actually do like um, a navy blue legging instead, but I thought it'd be cute for one of them to be in a dress and actually potentially shorts probably for this. Yeah. Next thing I got for the twins were these little shoes. For Lila, I got her this really cool little jumper. She is all about wearing workout clothes, so I just got this little set. I got these cute little linen shorts, and I actually have these exact shorts, and she wants to start running with me this summer, so I thought that was perfect. This is super cute to me. This was a little um, mud pie set that has the little ruffled jean skirt with the little top. And I got her this shirt. I just love like layered outfits like this with a lot of like um, texture more than design. I, I really am more into like simple design. This one is Bowden, which is, I don't know if you've ever heard of Bowden, but they have really cute stuff online. So I thought this one was super cute. It's like a soft linen-y, perfect little summer dress. And then just another simple shirt, but with more textures. This, let's see, let's get that one right in there. Okay, I got these little um, Matilda Jane pants for her um, that I'm thinking I'll put this like layered tank top with. Again, texture, but si simple color. This I had to get because she always talks about her being a cheetah. It's definitely not my style, but it came with a pair of shorts too and it was only five bucks. So that one was for her. And I got this super cute, still has tags on it, this little Gap sweater. Again, awesome texture, great visualization there. I love that. And then this little jean dress. And I got Lila, or Emmy. This is the one dress that I got Emmy. We have a wedding next month, and the family has asked that we dress neutral. So I thought this was perfect. The Bible study that we went to today, um, one of my girlfriends in there was like, oh, my daughter used to have those exact same shoes. I was like, I just got them at the consignment. She was like, I consigned mine. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I just bought them off my friend. So there you go. But I'll insert um, a video real quick of Emmy posing in them because she wanted to show her meme. But yeah, they're super, super cute. To start off when making flour tortillas, the first thing you're going to do is you are just going to combine your fat and your flour. And once that's combined, you'll add your baking soda, your salt, and then you will slowly add in your water. Your, this is pretty much just a simple dough recipe. Now most recipes will call for either lard or um, Crisco or something like that as the fat source, but I actually just used half um, coconut oil and half olive oil and they were perfect. Then you're just going to keep kneading to the dough until it's really silky and the texture will change. You'll notice that it's really smooth and elasticy looking. Um, and once that's done, then I just set it down and let it rest on the counter. I do cover it with um, some, I covered it with plastic wrap today, but you can just cover it with a damp rag. Um, really just cover it with anything and then just let it rest. You want to let it rest for at least 30 minutes. It'll actually roll out a lot easier. It's not going to have that elasticity to it. So when you roll it out, it'll actually stay. So I, at this point, I'll just go ahead and cut it into whatever size tortillas I want to make. And then I will just go ahead and start rolling. I just used a rolling pin. Um, you could literally use a glass um, or if you have a tortilla press, that's actually a lot easier. Um, but you just want to get these rolled out flat and they do not have to be perfectly round. Um, I honestly like the more rustic edges. I just feel like it looks more homemade. So once I do that, then I will just heat a cast iron skillet. No oil is required for this. And you heat the cast iron skillet until it's smoking a little bit. So you want it really hot. Just go ahead and put in your tortilla and you literally let it go for maybe 5-10 seconds on each side until it's blistered up and you will see all these nice beautiful char marks on it and then you have your homemade tortillas. To go on our tortillas tonight we are making tacos so I just made a layer of black beans as the base and then we topped that with some roasted cauliflower as well as some shredded cabbage and here is what has forever changed my opinion on tacos 
and the way I eat them. From now on, I will always have pickled red onions because they are sweet. They take away the like kind of sulfury taste that you get when you have pico de gallo. Pic I love pico de gallo, but sometimes the garlic and the, uh, the raw onion is just so strong. That's all you taste. But these sweet onions broke up the saltiness of all of our roasted veggies and the beans, and they were amazing. They added a nice crunch, and they were just phenomenal. So on top of all of that, I added some cashew cream sauce, as well as some fresh cilantro. I just could not record tonight. It was a very crazy night. Why was tonight difficult for you? I didn't say it was difficult. It was just... difficult. I mean, it was a typical night. Like, it was crazy to me. It was a typical night. It was crazy to me. I guess most nights are crazy, but it was crazy to me. We got into a really great discussion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah how'd that work out? About batteries. <laughs> that was not what our discussion was about. <laughs> It was. It was, it was about, about batteries. Getting, about how to save electronics when they're wet. I felt like we learned not to have our conversations in front of the children. Mm-hmm. That's not, that's not good. And we made a point to apologize in front of the children. That's before I drew the knife on you, though. <laughs> they didn't see that part. Kept that below the counter. For real, though, don't you feel like it was like a good learning experience, kind it of? It was, yeah, it really was. <laughs> I don't know why our pair is so funny to me. <laughs> Chill time, TV time. Frankie's gonna make up to me for being mean. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right, bye.